Shalom, brothers and sisters. So we are in the month of Elul. Some say it begins on the 4th of September. The Jews say it begins on the 2nd. So we'll work on from the 2nd onwards. We're in the month of Elul. Elul is the 12th and final month in the Jewish calendar. The final month. At the final point, at the end of days, here we are in Elul. It is a time of repentance and introspection in preparation for the high holy days of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. The word Elul, similar to the root of the verb search in Aramaic. It is a time when Jews reflect on where they stand and where they should be going. It's also known as a time for personal stock taking, known in Hebrew as Shesh Born Hanefesh. So a time of introspection, where am I? How's my walk with God? Now, if we take that for ourselves as believers, a time of washing our robes white, moving away from sinful things and the things that would drag us down, keeping our oil lamps full and lit, drawing closer to Jesus every day in this time of Elul. Elul search. We are searching and searching from our bridegroom. We know he is at the door. He's in the field. He's ready. The king is in the field. He's here. He's going to pick us up shortly. And we are in that final time of Elul. So it's an exciting time, really. It's the last month of summer on the Hebrew calendar. According to the rabbis, Elul is the month of the bride. The bridal theme derives from the fact that the name Elul is an acronym as well for the Hebrew phrase, Ani Ledodi Vadodi Li. I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. Song 6 verse 3. Elul is obviously when the king is in the field. The notion that he is in the field observing his subjects as they work, evoking rapture passages in Matthew. At the coming of the Son of Man, two men will be in a field. Elul 1 marks the beginning of a 40-day period of repentance leading up to the Day of Atonement. Accordingly, every day during the month of Elul, a trumpet is sounded as a warning blast that Judgment Day is near and fast approaching. How appropriate is that? They're blasting that trumpet every day now warning that Judgment is approaching. And it is. It is at the door as many of them don't even truly realize they might be enacting it, but they don't realize how real it is now more than ever. Elul is when one's fate is sealed for the following year. The notion of being sealed recalls the passage in Revelation where the 144,000 Jews are sealed by the Holy Spirit before judgment is poured out on the earth. So all of these things scream warnings to us and tell us what's happening. And in the month of Elul, the Jews also read Psalm 27 consistently. They read it twice a day, every single day, and they'll read it all the way through to Tabernacles, Sukkot. So let's read it. Let's see what it says. And you're going to see some amazing connections here speaking to us as believers that are awake concerning the Harpazo and the Rapture. Psalm 27, Declaration of Faith. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Jesus says he is the light of the world and he has come and given us salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked come against me, not if, when, the wicked come against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. Now more than ever, we legitimately think of the potential consequence here that war might come. A bomb might come and explode. A missile ICBM might be launched to the city where I live. Some of us have these as real concerns. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Behold, I have gone to prepare a place for you. I desire that I may dwell 
in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. We will see him face to face. Right now we see dimly as through a mirror, but then face to face. For in the time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock, the rock of the ages, Jesus Christ. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. We're going to be like little songbirds singing in joy because of the rescue of the Arpazzo and where we are with him away from all these troubles and enemies. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. Note the many times salvation, 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 because Jesus is salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in the smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That last verse, just remember that last verse. Besides all the other rapture references and promises and him coming to fetch us and hide us in his secret pavilion. If you just take away verse 14 as a command from Yeshua right now to us. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Don't be dismayed that it seems like he is delayed or that he tarries. Wait on him. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. At a time when men's hearts are failing them all over the world, which is a prophetic thing that we see happening right now, heart disease and deaths are through the roof. As men's hearts fail them, he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. The king is in the field. He is coming to fetch us and hide us in his pavilion. God bless. Be encouraged. Shalom.